Um, it's that little strip of water in between the two islands. It makes it really difficult. It's a bit of a, bit of a walk home there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll make sure that uh, you could get a ride home. I'd certainly do that. Uh, but moreover, I would like to be able to talk to you guys about maybe doing a few shows in the North Island. Maybe we can put a bit of business together. Play your music regularly here at Galaxy. We get so many requests for it, it's simply required. Uh, it is actually becoming a bit of an old joke now, to be honest, because uh, we, we have the sign on the side of, uh, of our, uh, our board where it just has a similarly required. And, and off that, there's a, uh, a little one of those uh, thumbtack pins. And off that, there's a USB hanging from it because... <laughs> The receptionist has moved from paper now going on to USB because she says, you know, Grant, you deal with it. It's just that many requests. So... Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome, though. That's a great feeling. Awesome. Yeah, well, I tell you what. Yeah, it is all true. Literally, you did get a huge following here at Galaxy 107 FM. And I've got to let you know, uh, we're just on five and a half million people logged in right now. So uh, uh, we'd love to be able to play you at every chance that we can get. I've got to be honest with you. We really do. Now, we uh, are about to play a rocking chair. Now, uh, there's a little special something something about that uh, that particular story behind the uh, song, isn't there? Oh, yeah. We were a noisy night in Akira. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Simon came up with this riff. I stole the rocking chair from outside the uh, hotel and took it into the bedroom. And we just sat there in this rocking chair. And there's this whole party going on below us, and we're just sat upstairs. And we go downstairs, join the party, and then get back upstairs to try and finish the song because we just start to forget it. Start to forget how to play it. There's nothing worse than writing a song and forgetting how to play it and never getting it back again. It's the worst feeling <laughs> ever. I, I, yeah. I know exactly what you mean, and believe me, some of the uh, uh, best songs in the world have been uh, created in five minutes uh, just by sheer accident, basically, and writing yeah. them down. Uh, when you come across them, I, I really must admit that. But at the same time, in the video, uh, wasn't your father involved there, Simon? Uh, it was actually Sam. Yeah, it was my dad. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's the, the old man in the rocking chair. He always wanted to be part of a rock music video, but he never wanted to be the old guy in the rocking chair. <laughs> so you put him there anyway? Yeah, I made him do it. <laughs> even though you're English, my friend, that's Kiwi stuff. Well done. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that idea. I really, really do. Uh, and the video is an absolute blinder in its own right. In fact, uh, we have a friend of ours uh, who has a, a company in Nashville that goes around looking at videos and everything like that. He puts them into places like uh, uh, the Hard Rock Cafes, the uh, malls, the floating palaces, the you know, these big boats that go around, all that sort of stuff, the touristy places, uh, even uh, Hooters, he was saying. Uh, and... Uh, we showed him the video of that, and he was quite impressed. He really, really was. And he says to me, how do I get in touch with these guys? So maybe in the new year, you never know, if a guy called Steve Baker gets in touch with you from Nashville, maybe we've had something to do with that. Yeah, that's how we get in touch. Yeah, well, i tell you what. Um, he, he told me, literally, Grant, if you uh, put me in touch with some of the superstars that you're interviewing these days and give me uh, permission to get in touch with them, uh, he might keep me in hoo-hoo grubs. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Sam, has uh, Simon ever introduced you to the heritage of hoo-hoo grubs? Uh, absolutely not. Um, I, I don't know whether I'd give it a go or not. Did you give him a go to the Wild Food Festival? No, I don't think we did. I did everything else, like the mountain monsters. We just did a horse scene with the horse scene and shot. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But, but yeah, I know. I don't, I don't see the point in that, actually. Oh, I actually. I reckon it was just a protein shake. <laughs> it was a protein shake. It just gave you, you know. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, this was over in um, uh, Hokitika, is that right? That's right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see, I'm a coaster. I come from Westport, so I, I know all about the wild food things and uh, was brought up. Uh, my first radio career, would be believe, was actually in Greymouth and Radio Scenic Land. So uh, I know all about that. And uh, it, it, when people say to me, buy a hokey, I say, yeah, that's Greymouth. <laughs> It's true, it really is true. Uh, but while you were there, did you go and have a look at the Greenstone Factory? Uh, no, nah, I actually haven't been through the Greenstone Factory. 
Yeah, yeah no, you walk, you walk around and you see it everywhere, though. You know, there's like yeah. there's shops in every, every corner just selling green stone. Well, that's, that's mainly because that's where there's a huge amount of green stone. And, and of course, uh, the indigenous folks down there, the local iwi, they've got it all on the thumb. They really know how to be able to control it and, and yeah. give it out there. Uh, but, yeah, as a young boy, I used to work at the greenstone factory. Oh, cool. <laughs> You know, Were you doing carpet and just slicing it all? Uh, no, no, I was sweeping the floor and making coffee like every good boy should be. <laughs> 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 well, necessity, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't until I started checking my pockets and finding out why I'm walking out with all the sweepings off the floor that uh, I, I lost my job. Oh. <laughs> they reckon I couldn't do that. I said, well, you know, I've been doing it for a couple of months now. You should see the collection I got at home. They did want to see it, and I said, no, you can't. I'm moving. I'll see you. <laughs> but it's quite true. I used to work there. Uh, but the uh, wild foods, it's nice that you guys actually made it over that way. Um, you're the first superstars, of we, and we call you superstars. We do. I think you've earned that right here at Galaxy, uh, to actually participate in the wild foods. Uh, do you tell all your friends about it? Do you actually admit that you've been there and done that? She's done a few times. Yeah, I've done it once or twice. No, it's, it's, good, it's a good life, you know, good music, good environment. People dress up, have a good time. Yeah. And, um, I mean, the West Coast is a beautiful place, you know. It's good to get over there, so... It really, really is. And believe me, uh, I speak to so many people around the world that can't wait to get to New Zealand because we have this clean green image around the world, if you know what I mean. And the West Coast is exceptional. I mean, look at the Marlborough Sound. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. No, that's another, another cool spot. And they're all, you know, within a couple of hours drive from each other too. So you yeah. don't have to travel too far to see it all. Exactly. Uh, you guys just need to get over the hill, really, don't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. And that's scenic drive too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's a six pack and a half a packet of cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if we smoked. So it's, it's a pack <laughs> and uh, no cigarettes. Oh, there you go. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll compromise on that one, absolutely. Only because I do smoke, I, I will admit that. Uh, but now that we've discussed uh, Assembly Requires Rocking Chair, I think we should play it. What do you guys feel? Give it a spin to it. Absolutely, let's do it. Five and a half million people can't be wrong. Here is Assembly Required. Rocking chair. Damn, it's hot up here. Sweeting. Hi, Ryan from Christchurch. Oh, Ryan. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so what's the temperature down there right now? Yeah, classic reader colours. Yeah, th 13 degrees down here at Governor's. Seriously? 13? Yeah. Wow, it's yeah, 25. It's not, it's wow. Not, it's not obvious. We've had like one of the worst summers. It's, wow, it's 25 degrees here. Uh, looking for cell mate. Uh, well, yeah, we're in a basin though, if you know what I mean, with uh -huh. no wind and well, once the heat comes in, it don't leave too fast. It really don't. <laughs> Sounds like kids out the back, out the front. Oh, okay. Oh, windows are open. That's what. Our air conditioning is working. The windows are open. Nice. <laughs> Kiwis don't have yeah, air yeah, conditioning. Yeah, we have, we have that Kiwi air conditioning. Yeah. Like what We're we have tough. in the car. You roll down the bloody window, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like if you want it cold, you go faster. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That is the Kiwis whole Kiwi you. attitude. <laughs> Believe me, I was talking to an American about the same sort of thing. He goes, you roll down the window? Is it safe? <laughs> yes, it's true that yeah, it's <laughs> One of the funniest things was we had a, a band come out of LA, come here to town, and uh, the first question they said is, is it okay to get out of the car to pump your gas? What? Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, they did. Say, like, what's the world coming to if you can't get out of your car to pump your own gas? Out? Yeah, yeah, they, they were freaking out because normally where they go, people come out pump your gas for you. Mm. You know what I mean? And they get out of the car and walk straight to the to the shop. They have nothing to do with it. Um, yeah, yeah. But apparently, at the same time, there's people that go around and uh, rob you while you're doing that walk from the car to the shop. Yes, I've been never good New Zealand today. Nuts, absolutely nuts. Uh, and primarily, the guy was saying it's mostly uh, drug users that want cocaine and heroin and stuff like that. They'll do they'll stop at no ends to try and find some money. To feed their addictions, you know what I mean. So, uh, but I freaked out. I said, "Bro, you just get out of the car. You go and pump your gas. Have a good time doing it. You know, go and pay the guy." And he says, "Is it safe?" 
people do that, they leave the cars in the lot to go and pay and then just get jumped straight back in the cars and drive off, don't they? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. exactly. You know, and sometimes you might actually find that they turn the car off as well. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on guys, let's go back to the desk. <clears throat> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and it's 16 after 12 o'clock, 23 degrees downtown. Was 25 a couple of minutes ago, but you know, knew we were talking about it, so dropped a couple, make it seemly. Uh, Friday, December the 21st, the last show of the year, and I'm joined by Simon Tester and of course, as good leading man, Sam. Sam, I, I got to admit, my friend, I absolutely love your vocals, I really, really do. And, and uh, just wondering, are you bringing any new work out in the near future? Oh, we're always working on stuff. Always working on stuff. We're trying to get as much of our original stuff done as possible. We've got a video that we're about to start shooting, another half of another video that we're about to start shooting, and then we're just trying to finalise the album at the moment. Um, finish up a few, there's about probably three tracks that need recording, and then from there we should be pretty much good to drop that at some stage. There will be a couple of singles coming out before the album's done though. Mm. Um, the, the latest one's ready for mastering now as we speak, so we just got to really get a music video shot for that, and then that should be out early New Year. So who are you getting to master your work? Pardon? Who are you What's getting that? to master your work? Uh, not 100% sure yet. Any uh, recommendations? Yeah, I do actually. I got a guy who uh, uh, used to master Queen and uh, The Who, Guess Who, and a number of other. He, he's in England. I can actually get uh, Barbara to pass you all the information on to you because, believe me, wonderful guy. He really, really is. Uh, just, I, I will uh, uh, have a talk to you about that, though, because we want to bypass somebody on the process of getting you to get that. Uh, and believe me, yeah, uh, that guy, uh, he puts his name all over it and does absolutely nothing. So uh, we'll bypass that and get you straight to the guy. Uh, well, hold on. Uh, just, excuse me. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Marcella. Hello. Uh, Marcella. Don't Marcella. Nice to meet you, Marcella. Hi. Hey. Nice to meet you. Christ. I'm just talking to a band in Christchurch at the moment. So, uh, sorry about that, guys. I literally had a, uh, a, a competition winner. That's right? Yes? Uh, right, right. A competition picking up the prize. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, we don't actually get to see too many people who actually do win uh, competitions with us. Normally we pop it into the courier and away it goes and we'll never get to see who they are. Uh, nice to actually have a fresh face <laughs> here in the studio. Nice to meet you Marcel. You too. Enjoy your Christmas won't you? Oh definitely and yourself. I certainly will. Uh, so yeah. sorry about that guys but uh, yeah it's uh, quite special when somebody drops on up here and says uh, that they're picking up a prize. I, I like to know that it, personally people actually do receive them. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Now, uh, next year with, uh, with the release of all your new work, how would you like to keep us in mind? We'd love to be able to do uh, a release for you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, more, excellent. More than happy to, uh, to, to sync up with you guys um, on release date and maybe even come on and have a talk about it or something. Would, would love that, guys. Really, really would. I would love to be able to do an interview uh, more in depth about the, the whole album, if you know what I mean, and uh, play each yeah. individual track, everything like that. Uh, at the same time, if you want to send us a few of your CDs, we would love to be able to give them away. As you can see, we've got winners that come and pick them up. Absolutely. <laughs> this is brilliant. Uh, it's stunning because, as I said to you, uh, normally we pop them into the mail and away they go. doesn't matter where in the world. It really doesn't. We've been sending stuff to uh, Uganda, to Lagos. Lagos! <laughs> what a strange place to send a prize, but we have done it. Uh, all, all through, uh, right through to Russia, would you believe? Uh, St. Petersburg picked up a prize not so long ago as well. So we're listened to around the world. And would you believe, uh, Sam, even England is listening to us. I know. Uh, England will listen to anything, though. I wouldn't be too proud of that. 
<laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I was talking to a manager uh, just the other day. Uh, I don't know whether you would be familiar with the band Sweet. Yes. Yep, uh, we're looking at bringing them into the country next year. Uh, Smokey? Don't go Smokey. Okay, uh, living next door to Alice. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Smokey, yeah, them too. And what about Slade? Remember them? Oh, yes, definitely. Okay, well we were talking to the manager of all of those bands and uh, looking at doing a deal where we can get all of those bands 2019 here in New Zealand. You never know, we might be able to even talk you guys into doing a curtain raiser for them. What do you reckon? Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Done. Absolutely brilliant. The ballroom blitz and like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, Oxygen, all of those, you know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, Believe me, uh, I think it's going to be a worthwhile venture and I would love to be able to have you guys on New Zealand stages in front of New Zealand audiences. Uh, we do have to get some names in to be able to draw some uh, of the public in, uh, believe me, uh, but at the same time, always nice to have a little Kiwi exposure and a multicultural exposure with a bit of English in there as well. I think it would fit well, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Let's, let's give it a crack. Cool. Excellent, excellent. And uh, uh, be careful how you say give it a crack. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> you never might know what might come out of that. <laughs> oh, believe me, my friend, I have a, uh, a lady coming out of Cairns, Australia, who every interview we do, uh, she gives me an email or a text saying, Grant, could you please ask your artist the marital status? And I keep thinking, you know, she's just looking for a husband. Absolutely, she is. Yeah, so we have a rule here. We've got phone applications for that kind of stuff now. You don't have to ask your radio DJ to ask people what, what they're up to. You. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I said that to John Rolls earlier on. He goes, well, "I want a picture first. and I says, "Well, she's got to come with a boat and a brewery." <laughs> Without a doubt. Yeah, you know, that's just the Kiwi way. You know, let's integrate well, Australia. Or at least a hard dance. Well, exactly. You know, but uh, it's got to be a kickstart, not an electric. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, I used to have a few Harleys, uh, including a couple of Panheads and uh, uh, a few uh, 1340s and stuff like that. Even a few uh, BMWs uh, had a couple of those cars. But moreover, I used to have a couple of old Trumpies, my friend. A couple of Bonnies. Oh, yeah. You know, so, um, and, and uh, was part of the local bike scene down in Christchurch uh, back in the day, too. I used to uh, live uh, in Cashmere Hills, so... Uh, Used to get out of Cashmere, go downtown on my bike and uh, go for, oh, even an AJ. Do you remember the old AJS? Nah, nah. Uh, Simon's dad's a, a BSA guy, isn't he? He's got a relation of all kinds of stuff. He also likes his triumphs. Yeah. Well, I, I, I tell you what, Simon, tell your father that the guy that just interviewed you, his very first motorbike was a step through BSA 50. Is that right? <laughs> It was almost mopedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that practically is a mopedy. And uh, pretty much, you know, it's a rubber band, you wind it up and you let it go. <laughs> Mate, I think it was like the Solex 3000 or something. Oh, know? good yeah. God, yeah, I remember those. Right. I can't wheel those things. <laughs> I do remember those, actually, I really do. Uh, I think we had one hanging on the wall in the garage at home at one stage when <laughs> I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> and if you could put them in to apartments. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to let you go. I know, Simon, that you have a, another appointment that you've got to go out and do things to. Uh, so, please, on my behalf of all the staff here at Galaxy 107 FM, have a very Merry Christmas, guys, and a Happy New Year. Let's catch Happy up in the New Year. And, um, and a Happy Birthday to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, Happy Birthday, mate. <laughs> Thank you very much. I know Barbara's <laughs> been spreading the word, so uh, it hasn't surprised me now, to be honest. First couple of interviews, I sort of got a shock, but... Uh, after that, you know, it's kind of settling in. So yes, thank you very, nice. very much. Uh, but love to the family, uh, to everybody down in Christchurch, and uh, get out and have a good time, won't you? Yeah, yeah you too. Enjoy you your, your Christmas break, and uh, we'll, we'll see you in the new year with, uh, with the release of some new material. I am so going to hold you to that. I really, really am. Because I absolutely love Assembly Required. I really do. Brilliant band. You do such a great job, guys. I've really got to commend you guys. And I don't think it's going to be long before you're picking up prizes at, uh, at the Wellington shows. Oh, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
it's yeah. kind of the dream, isn't it? You know, everybody, well, everybody wants that kind of uh, that Grammy at the end of the day, doesn't it? Well, this is right. You really do. Talking of Grammys, would you believe I have actually got a couple of friends of mine that are selectors for the Grammys? Ooh. You know. Uh, uh, Slide, slide master, yeah, yeah, exactly. In fact, one young lady who is uh, one of the latest selectors, uh, I'm not mentioning Thornell Jones Jr. because he's been there for, for ages uh, as a selector, but one young lady, her name is Taylor X. Um, i got a funny story for you here. Literally, uh, we did an interview with her a couple of years ago, and then again just a couple of months ago, and then we did something for Christmas, and she says to me at Christmas time, uh, well, 10th of December, we spoke to her, and she says, Grant, since I spoke to you a couple of weeks ago, my friend's request on Facebook has gone up by 900,000. Is that your fault? I went, absolutely. <laughs> you know, so believe me, girl, if, uh, you know, I say something to you about something, something, maybe you might be able to put a good word in for me and, you know, and she says, Grant, I want you to send an email to my record company because I want them to bring me down here, down under. And I went, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Yeah. Let's get some money involved, let's get some record companies involved, and let's get your talent down here on New Zealand stages. We'll put some Kiwis on stage and expose our Kiwis. That's what it's about. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, freaking, freaking. You know, so, and, and uh, of course, Sam, being an honorary New Zealander now, uh, you fit into that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've got my passport now. I'm practically yes. a Kiwi. Oh, but that's, I'm, a, I'm a citizen. So. There you go, there you go. You are a Kiwi now. As long as you start drinking Lion Red, I'll love you forever. Uh, I'll drink a lot of lion browns, I can't. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's a lion, it's a lion. Double brown? Yeah, why not? Let's do that as well. Uh, <laughs> I, I just sort of hold the line at spades. No, yeah, same, so do I. Yeah, <laughs> can't do it. So guys, I'm going to let you go, but please have a very happy and safe New Year's and Christmas, and we'll see you next year. Certainly. Merry Christmas, guys. See you guys. Have a great one, guys. Catch you then. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Holly, so, my friend. Hi, Holly, my granddaughter. <laughs> uh, hold on there for a second. I think Barbara wants to talk to you. But in the meantime, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM.